Hello everyone, Megan here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got another unboxing today or unbagging. Um, <clears throat> so there's two things in here and I'm excited to get into it. So let's get into it. So this is something I'm going to try. I've never done it before. Um, but this is Diamond Painting Finish Conserver. Um, and it looks like you dab it on with this spongy tip there. Um, which is interesting. It says, so it's by Pikmon, Pikmundu, Pikmundu. Um, the original DIY diamond painting conserver. Um, it comes in a hundred milliliter bottle right here. It lasts for, oh, it says four times a 50 by 50 painting. So you could do four 50 by 50 paintings with this one bottle. Um, it says, ready to use special sealing for diamond painting. Place foil or baking paper under the canvas to protect the work surface. Apply a generous amount of sealant to the already finished stone clean, stone clean place. Oh wait, stone surface. <laughs> it's such a... <laughs> I promise you I can read. <laughs> okay, so, uh, please, okay, finish stone surface of the picture and spread it cleanly with the sponge. Please let, so this is the sponge part. Please let the canvas harden in clean place for about four hours. The picture is thus secured against plopping out of the stones and has a wonderful sheen. Warning, this is not a toy, only to be used under adult supervision. Keep out of reach of children, shake before use. All right, so I'll have to give this a go. Um, I'm gonna try it out on probably one of my smaller diamond paintings that I've got. Uh, that's finished in, under my bed <laughs> in my container just to make sure it's not going to ruin anything. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to try that out. So that was the one, one of the things that was in there. The other thing is, of course, bum, ba, da, ba. Ooh, this is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it's a 35 by 35 right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you right now, it's a Mandala special diamond painting. So let's crack her open and see what's shaking. <clears throat> oh, it's very colorful. Wow, but it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I don't know what I was... I don't think I even looked at the description, to be honest with you. I just assumed, because I've bought so many mandalas that are kind of on the smallish side. I just... Uh, whatever, but... Anyway. All right, so here's the kit. It comes with regular tiny square of wax, regular tray or bead boat, and a standard pen. And then... Here are those... Special diamonds. I'll look at that in a minute. Let's get the canvas out. Wowzers. Look at that, baby. That is a big one. But it only has nine colors. Or I guess I should say nine special diamonds. And the canvas is very clear. The printing is clear, as I can tell. Um, 
and it's very purpley and pinkish and I'm digging it. I didn't know it was this big, but I don't hate it. <laughs> Here it is without the cover on it. So it's a partial. Um, so all of this part isn't sticky at all, but this part is. Wherever you put a drill is. If you're new to diamond painting, a partial is where only part, hence partial, part of the canvas is covered in diamonds, not the whole thing. So only where you see symbols is where it's sticky, and like over here isn't sticky at all. Um, and like in here isn't sticky, only the places where you see the symbols is the sticky part. And a full drill is when the whole canvas is covered in um, diamonds. So there you go. I As you... As a YouTuber, as I make these videos, I tend to assume that everyone has watched every single one of my videos, and I don't, like, I repeat myself on some things, but things that I'm, like, passionate about, <laughs> but um, I don't repeat, I, I keep thinking that everyone's already seen it, and I shouldn't say it any, like, that kind of stuff anymore, but I have to keep reminding myself that there's people who are, you know, getting turned on to diamond painting every day you know so I might as well say the things I need to say and hope that I help somebody so <clears throat> the reason why by the way that I did that was um, I took off the cover paper the cover plastic and then put it back was because I I, um, I noticed that it tends to flatten the picture a little bit better a little quicker especially for diamond paintings that come rolled up in like a tube um they're they're quick to roll back together so that's why i do that um but this one came sort of like folded in sort of like a sandwich sort of rectangle shape so i'm just gonna go through and just kind of work it so that it's a little bit flatter all right, so let's take a look at these special diamonds. I love looking at each one. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like we've got three packs, three colors that are... Um, kind of run-of-the-mill similar size as regular drills we've got these yellow rhinestones That's pretty and then we've got these different a different shade of yellow like a light yellow rhinestone and then in the foil that you see, the silver, is just the backing of all the special drills because I think they do that because they don't want the symbol to be seen through the, the clear um, or transparent, translucent um, drill. So I think they put that backing on it to actually bounce the light off so they're more sparkly. Um, this one is like a pearlized yellow. So instead of having... Um, are coming to a point like these diamonds sort of do these ones are rounded on the top like pearls you can kind of see the, the pearlescent hue on those if that's the right word <laughs> and then let me see if I can get it flat here there we go and then we've got all right I'll do like three at a time here <clears throat> Ooh, baby, we're looking at the green, bluish, purple, pink bunch. I love that color. That's beautiful. We've got the more pinkish purple iridescent round here. Changes color depending on how you look at it. And then we got the big old disco balls, as I call them. <laughs> the huge round drills those are beautiful that must be the the 
symbol D that I kept seeing um, on the canvas. That's beautiful. I love that kind of drill. And let's see, we've got super teeny tiny purple. Um, I think these are called pear shapes, if I'm not mistaken, or teardrop. Um, but they're teeny tiny and they're uh, translucent purple rhinestone right there. You can see right there really well. And then we've got the marquee. This is the marquee shape. And this is just a straight up sort of iridescent, clear iridescent color, which I love. And then this one, oh, there's two packs of those. So there must be a lot of these. <laughs> two packs of those ones. And last but not least, we have we have a really, these are so cool. They remind me of the peacocks that I've seen. So it's kind of like a smaller pear-shaped diamond inside of another pear-shaped diamond, which is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to do these. So pretty. All right, you guys. Well, those are the colors, then all nine of them, because remember, this is the same drill. It just has two bags of it. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different special shaped diamonds. And I'm so excited to do this. And I also want to try this conserver both on a regular diamond painting, round and square, and also on a special diamond painting. I wonder, I, I'm, I'm hoping that it wouldn't take away the shine of the diamonds. I imagine it wouldn't because it's four diamond painting. So this isn't like, you know, in the past I've used like a Mod Podge and all that. And, you know, they're not especially made for diamond painting. So it was really an experiment. But this is four diamond painting. So, I mean, it says conserver right there on the, on the label right there. So I'm thinking it's going to be good. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, guys, until next time, keep diamond painting. Have a great rest of your day. See you later.